What is going on guys? It's your boy Juno Ryan and I'm coming at you with another video. Today we're not fishing but we're doing your favorite thing. We're talking about fishing. So today I'm going to be telling you guys five, get that five, random things that you don't already keep in your tackle box that you absolutely should. So stay tuned for the video. Here we go. Number one, one. We're talking super glue. Super glue is essential to every real fisherman's tackle box because when you're fishing, everything is bound to break. And if it can be mended with super glue, you want to have it with you. It literally costs $5 for a tube of gel and it's this big. You can fit it in your bag at all times. I definitely prefer to have gel just because it's less runny and I, I always end up with my fingers stuck together, let's be real, we all do. But the gel is a little bit better about that than the liquid stuff. I've used this for repairing rod tips, I've stuck back together my sunglasses, I've fixed, oh my god, countless things. I use it to finish my knots, like an FG knot. I use that to close the knot so it doesn't unravel. There are so many things that you can use this for and it is essential to keep in your bag. Number two, we're talking about fishing rod tips. It's essential to always have extra fishing rod tips in your tackle box because you never know when you're gonna crack that little ceramic insert. Even if you're buying the highest dollar, I've, I've had SICs break, which are really high dollar, really hot, hard inserts. And when you crack your insert, you might as well not fish that rod anymore because it's gonna be fraying up your line, you're gonna lose fish, it's just gonna be a nightmare. So by having a few extra rod tips, even if they're cheap little inserts, they're gonna get you through the rest of that trip, whether it be a day, whether it be a week. These, these things save my life. Just look at the size of your rod, go in, buy a couple that are similarly sized, bring you know, maybe a little bit of super glue like we just talked about, and it's gonna save you guys a nightmare of a fishing trip. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it's going to happen to you. So get you a couple extra rod tips. Number three. Zip ties, extremely cheap. You can buy a hundred pack at Home Depot, any hardware store. And zip ties are gonna save your life. Whether you're on a boat, whether you're on foot, I've used them to repair my flip flops, I repair live well hoses, I repair bilge pumps. Guys, zip ties are so cheap, they can be used for so many different things, and it's, they're too cheap not to have in your bag at all times. Whether you're using it to zip tie your bucket to something, guys, Carry some zip ties. You're gonna be happy you did. Worst moonwalk ever. Number four, we're talking about electrical tape. Electrical tape is gonna save your guys' lives. Whether it is fixing wires on boats, because when you're on a boat, everything is prone to breaking, especially electrical stuff. This stuff is gonna save your life anytime little wires get out of whack. It's gonna save you if you break a little section off your rod and you need to retrofit a tip back on it or retrofit a guide. Let's say you clip a guide off and there's a sharp edge, this will make it smooth so that sharp edge doesn't fray your line. It's too cheap not to have in your tackle box. So get you some electrical tape. Last but not least, number five. And we're talking about this stuff right here. This is silicone earplugs. They are used for keeping water out of people's ears. Or if you're me, you use it for waterproofing random stuff. There's plenty of stuff that when you go fishing, you don't want it to get wet. So I use it for waterproofing parts of my GoPro when I have the frame mount on. I use it for waterproofing other areas like a dry box, dry box on some of these boats I end up on and they have cracks in them. It's really inexpensive. It's, I don't know, three or $4 on Amazon. It's disposable, I'll just take it off, and it doesn't leave any residue. It's literally just silicone putty. And guys, I'm telling you, you're gonna find use for this stuff. You may not think of it right away, but having it on your, on your person at all times, you're really gonna be a lifesaver. You kayak fishermen, you know what salt water can do to stuff. All right guys, I've just told you five things that I keep in my tackle box at all times that you normally wouldn't see in a lot of other people's boxes. They're very inexpensive and it's things that I think will really help you guys on your longer fishing trips. You know, those two, three day trips or you're driving an hour or two to go do something. It's gonna save you a lot of headaches, be able to fix certain things when they break. So I hope this really helped you guys. Question of the day, 
what are some random things that you guys keep in your tackle boxes that might help you in certain you know situations that arise leave it in the comment section below I appreciate all you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a like if you want to share it give it a share if you hate me personally on some deep inner level like some of these comments I get you know leave a comment whatever you know, let it let it come out of you let those demons out I'll see you guys in that next video later nice up close see if it'll focus if it'll focus maybe it's trying to focus on my face and last but not a lot <laughs>